Hi, this is Hafsa from Experts Vision and today we will see how to detect signature forgery using neural networks in MATLAB. This is also called signature verification. It's a technique used by banks, intelligence agencies and high profile institutes to verify or validate the identity of an individual. Test image of a signature is fed, in, fed into the system where it is compared with the corresponding database image. If they both match, then they say that the person is genuine, otherwise he is an imposter. Here is a MATLAB code for this purpose. First I will show you its output and then we are going to see its detailed working. So what we have here is a database of 12 persons. For each person, we have a number of signature samples. In this folder of testing samples, we have genuine samples of two persons and here in its subfolder, we have forged samples by imposters. Now let's see how good our program is at determining this thing. When a person comes up to the system, first thing the system asks is which person do you claim to be? Suppose an imposter has come up and he is claiming to be person number one. Next program will say, select the image of your signature to get it verified against your claimed identity. So that imposter will then forge a signature of person one and feed it to the system. Now the system is correctly detecting it to be a forgery. Suppose in the next scenario, the real person one comes up and he will pro definitely provide a genuine sample. Here the program is saying that his claim is verified and it is a match. Now let's see how this thing actually happened. First what we did, we extracted the LPQ features of all the training samples and fed it to a neural network to train it. Now when we had our trained neural network, then we asked for a test image. Now after that the program extracted the LPQ features of that test image. Here you can see them in this variable by the name of feature underscore test. This is a 1 cross 256 vector. Now this vector of test features was then fed into a neural network. This is the same neural network which we had trained earlier. The neural network will then give its result. Here we have stored the result in this variable by the name of test underscore result. You can see it to be a 12 cross 1 vector. 12 because we had 12 persons in the database. Now what it actually stands for is that element number 1 represents the similarity of the test signature with person 1 element number 2 represents its similarity or you can say the percentage similarity with person 2 and so on. Now if we want to check which is the maximum of these numbers for that we have this function vec to end. It is a built in function of MATLAB. When we give our 12 cross 1 vector to it, it will tell us at which index was the maximum value found. Here it is found at index number 1 which means that for the test image under consideration it resembled person 1 the most. Now the person was already claiming to be person 1 so program is saying that his claim is verified and it is a match otherwise it would have said that the signature is a forgery and the person is an imposter. So that was it for today if you have any questions you can mention in the comments and you can contact us if you want the MATLAB code for this project. Furthermore, if there is any particular topic that you would like me to discuss or you would like to learn about, then do mention it in comments and I will try to have that covered in the upcoming videos. To get one-to-one -one MATLAB training or for research work, you can contact us at expertsvision at the rate of life.com or you can add us on Skype at experts.vision. So until next time, goodbye.